Hey everyone, it's Julia with Wig Review Central at Shirley's Wig Shop. This is a quick how-to video. I am wearing the Bell Trust Style Caliente 16. I love this style. It's in the color Butterbeer Blonde. This is my personal wig. I purchased it and I wear it often. But one thing I do not like about this wig is how the top of it looks sort of poofy. I want to show you a method I use to make the top of wigs look more natural. Now this is a Revlon flat iron. I purchased this at Walmart quite some time ago. It has an off button and you can adjust it to low or high. Those are the two choices. Now for this particular wig, I am going to use the high setting and it gets so hot, you can hardly touch it. In fact, you should not touch it because you will burn yourself. But I have had it on high and I'm going to lower it to low now that it's reached enough heat. And let's go ahead, let me show you what it looks like now. And we're going to go in and flat iron at the very top only to create a more natural looking top. So I have my comb here and I'm going to just take a section of hair at a time. Now I don't want to change the curl or wave pattern. I just want the very top to lay flatter. So I'm going to bring this like that and press it down. And then I'll move on to the next section. Now pressing it down as it cools just helps to get the desired effect. So here we go. Again, pressing it to get the desired effect. And we'll come over here. So you can see now that it is flatter on this side. And I have a little poofiness right in here. So we're gonna target this area next. And we'll use the flat iron and pull it tight. Lay your hand on it and it will be hot. So just keep it pressed until it cools. Minute or two. Move on to the next section. And you don't want too thick of a section. Again, pulling it tight. Oh gosh, that's hot. <laughs> it's a little warm. So I'll hold it for a minute. Okay. And then if the back is also a little poofy, we can take a section. Now, some people like a lot of volume at the top. I do like a more natural look. So once it cools, just run your comb through it. If it is still not flat enough for you, uh, what I would do is go ahead and take the sections that you've already done and move those to the side. And you can secure them if need be with like a claw clip. And then you can do the same thing with sections underneath. Now this technique works so long as there is not a huge amount of permatease. If there's a huge amount of permatease, it may not work because the permatease are short wiry fibers that are very strong. 
uh, and they can be quite tricky to make lay down. But we're going to go ahead and do this section underneath here. And then hold it. Ooh, that gets hot. Just rub it, make it flat. This is a left mono part wig, and that's why I have it parted on the left. Well, thank you so much for watching this quick how-to video featuring this Revlon flat iron used on the heat-friendly Beltrus style Caliente 16. Now you can use any flat iron of your choosing as long as the degrees do not exceed 320 degrees. Uh, what I like to do if I have a heat appliance that just has low and high or low medium high, I might start with it on medium and give that a try. Otherwise, I suggest starting low. And if that's not enough to make the curl, then go to high. But there's a lot of appliances that actually have the degrees on a digital screen. And those are, in my opinion, the safest ones to use to preserve all of your heat-friendly wigs. Well, thank you so much for watching this quick how-to video. I hope you found it helpful. Please subscribe. Subscribing is free and you'll receive alerts whenever I post a wig review, hair topper review, how-to video, wig color comparison, and much, much more. Take care. Bye-bye.